You might be able to hear Rufus snoring. Rufus the dog, he's on the bed um, and he just made a little noise. So I don't know if you heard that snuffle. Hello, my name is Kate and this is a car boot sale haul. It's not the biggest haul I've ever done. I think I've spent, it was under 10 pounds. So I've got some really good finds. This is gonna be um, a small but good haul. I'm gonna start off as normal with my mug of the day. And it's one my friend Louise bought me. Um, at Christmas so during Vlogmas we gave each other some presents and this was one of them. It's such a pretty mug, I love the colours, the blush pink, white on the bottom in sort of a more like a stony type um, finish and then little gold hearts and it's from TK Maxx originally and I've got a cup of tea today um, so this is my mug of the day. So I'm going to start off with, I've got three mugs to show you and a travel cup so I'm going to start off with those and then I've got some things for the garden, um, a couple of bits and bobs, not loads like I said, but some good items to show you. And everything in this haul was from Norwich, um, a car boot sale called Arming Hall. So if you live in Norfolk, um, I think it's one of the best car boot sales. It might, it probably is my favourite. It's on a Wednesday morning and a Sunday morning and you always find things. So everything here was from the Wednesday morning car boot sale a couple of weeks ago and I did do a vlog as well. So you might have already seen that. I vlogged all around the car boot sale so I filmed quite a few of the stalls and then we went to, we, <laughs> you and me, um, on the vlog we went to B&M and ended up in TK Maxx. So if you want to watch that I'll leave it in the description so you'll see when um, I found some of these things because I was kind of filming at the time and there was a bit of a negotiation between me and a man. It wasn't really a negotiation, he asked for 50p and I said yes. Uh, but you can hear that kind of thing if you're interested in looking at car boot sales and the things they have on the stalls. I always, when I do watch my pause and like zoom in to see if there's any like hidden treasure, not, not that I could get it because it's on video, but it's just quite nice looking. Um, so I'm going to start off, like I said, with some more mugs. These ones um, were, were bargains. These were 10p. The lady had a whole box of 10p mugs um, and some of them said like, hey, you're not, hey, you're a good brother, but it was like greatest brother. Um, but I didn't get that. Even though it was 10p, I was kind of tempted, but uh, no, I didn't get the greatest brother one. Um, so 10p for this little alpaca -y llama. Um, yeah, we're not sure if it's alpaca or llama, so I'll say both of them. And I think it's from New Look originally, and this was, like I said, 10p. And you might have seen this on Instagram if you follow me there. And if you don't, you're more than welcome to. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram. I'm going to put you there. And I have a house account as well with house photos because we're doing it up. And that's called Kate's Homely Home. I'll link them in the description. And this one is just a really simple, it looks so bright there, like yellow. This looks too, doesn't kind of, how about if I do that? Ah, there you go. Um, yeah, so a really nice kind of lemon mug. That's all it is. And um, that's what it is. It's only Norfolk again. With um, It's white on the inside. I just really like the pattern. I thought it was quite dainty. Um, yeah, 10p for that one. I don't know where it's from originally. I need to give that a good clean, actually. It's got some um, car boot cell mud inside it. But yeah, 10p mugs. And then um, if you did watch that vlog, you will have seen that I found some treasure. So this is a Kath Kidston um, original mug. So it's Queen's kitchen exclusive by queen's kitchen fine bone china um doesn't say that it says fine china um and it was 50p and there was two of them there was this one and then in the same box you know in at car boot sales if you go to them there's loads of like house clearance people and loads of boxes um it is worth if you have time looking in them so if the car boot sale isn't massive um, it's worth looking for treasure because I have found a couple of Kath Kidston mugs in those boxes and there was a green one as well um but it was chipped at the top which was so sad I kind of didn't want to leave it there but I had to um so yeah that was 50p no haggle that was what the man wanted um and then he tried to see if I could buy some more stuff but there wasn't anything else so I gave him 50p for this beautiful Kath Kidston mug and I did do a picture straight away on Instagram of me and the mug because I was just so excited right I'm gonna put that over there and then um the travel cup I probably didn't need but it was just quite cute and the make is it says yes brr, yes studio keeping it real um that looked like quite a good make and I just liked it and it just says I did not wake up like this no no that is that is true so I could only really take this mug out if I look nice because if I look awful then people are like oh I think you did wake up like that love and I paid 40p for this. It was um, 40p each on this sheet for these items or three for a pound, but there wasn't anything else. Um, so 40p for my little travel cup and that can go in the dishwasher. And um, I just think it's quite a nice little thing. So I felt I had to get it 
and use it and give it a new home. These were a really good bargain. They are solar powered lanterns, so either for the garden or inside. Um, I just wasn't sure if they were gonna work um, or not, because sometimes you can buy things and they don't work and then that's a rubbish. Oh, Bestie, the cat's coming. Hello, Bestie. Um, so the lady wanted 50p each and I thought, do I really need them? Do I want them? I was like, oh, do they work? And she said, oh, I'm not sure. And I said, Shall I, would you take 50p for the two just in case? And she said, yes, this one works. I'm not sure about this one um, because I've put them over in a basket waiting to do this haul and the sunlight's come in and that's been glowing, which is brilliant. So that one works, but that was underneath it. But hopefully it will. I'm sure they will, but that's really quite bright, but they'll look lovely outside um, when I saw, you know, when the weather's a bit nicer and then they'll glow in the evening. So that was good for um, 25p each for those little lanterns. And I bought this exact same thing a few weeks ago it might have been another car boot sale but it was in black so if you watched i can't remember what, what one it was but it was probably i don't know a couple of weeks ago um this is from tiger so i've got the one in black i think i paid a pound for it this was also a pound but it's brand new and it's a white version of the thing i bought so if you haven't even watched that you'll be like shut up but anyway this is like just a wire basket with some hooks um and then another hook at the top to put it on um, and I don't know what I'm doing with the black one, but I thought, well, I may as well get the white one. And then there's two of them that might look good together, maybe in a utility room, um, in our utility room, not a, anyone else's. And, or maybe in my wardrobe, so I could put like belts, not that I wear belts, but like, I don't know, scarves or something hanging off and then shoes or something inside. But I thought I had to get it because I thought it would be good and it will go somewhere. If not, I'll just pass it on to a charity shop or um, do a car boot sale. And then from the same stall, this was a really good bargain because we need this for our bathroom. It's a black metal toilet roll holder and this will be perfect for our ensuite because it's kind of black, um, white, uh, blush pink. Yeah, that's the colours, three colours. So that'll look nice on the wall with obviously toilet roll in. And I was like, well, how do you get this off? Because you know some of them are hard to take off and then think well then you never change it and it always ends up with a with an empty loo roll so you just open it like that i think and then it comes off and you can put your loo roll on there so oh voice went funny then didn't it and that was 50p with no haggle so i thought that was a good price and that looks like it's brand new and i think it's it's gonna look really nice hopefully and this was 50p it's a little dish it's very small it's kind of that big it's my face and um, Rufus is now coming over. Hello, Rufus. And I'm going to use this for tea bags. So you know when you um, make some tea and you just pop them on a little dish thing. So we do use these. Um, and it's just a nice um, colour. So that will be my new tea bag holder. And it was 50p from a lady. I didn't haggle. I just paid the 50p to her. And then this was also 50p. It was, I needed a bag. I forgot to take my bags with me. And I paid 50 pence for this funny bag with a cat with a birthday hat on so i don't know where that's from originally i think i have seen this before um maybe it was paper chase or poundland or something but that was my little bag bag of the day and that carried all my stuff in it and i think i'm changing how i say bag uh, mug of the day because it used to be mug of the day and now it's like mug of the day it's a bit of a, a bit of singing in it i just think mug of the day is evolving into something different and it's turning into a bit of a song and i bought some of these mini toiletries now i know you can get these for free in hotels but i just really quite like i've used these before and i like them and you get 27 milliliters and i paid a pound for all of these so someone has just got a pound for free but that doesn't really matter because these are handy and i kind of picked out the ones i wanted i think it was five for a pound and then i said oh would you chuck that in i know it's a free sample but it's just a little bit of perfume um, so I'll put that like in my handbag or something, handbag, I'll put it in my bag or my, um, when I go and sing, it's good to have like one in my outfit bag. So I've got like my shoes and my dress and I'll just chuck that in there so I can smell nice because sometimes you get a bit stinky when I'm singing. So that is Thierry Mugler, is that how you say it? I don't know. I got four Crabtree and Evelyn shampoos that have never been used. And then this as well. So this is again a free sample, um, but I thought it looked quite good. And with eye cream, so this is uh, Capture, Capture Total, um, Dior. Bestie, the cat and the dog have stuck. Can you hear Bestie's? No, Bestie's clawing the YouTube chair and then Rufus is on the floor. Um, anyway, back to this. So <laughs> two millilitres, which isn't a lot, but eye cream goes a long way. 
and I don't know, I'll read off on that later. It just says it corrects all visible signs of ageing, wrinkles, loss of firmness. What are you trying to say? Anyway, I'll use Excel, it's quite good. What do you want? Hello, they're right in front of me looking at me. Are you interested in the car boot sale haul? Right, I've got three more things to show you. Um, this was a brand new set. The lady wanted two pounds, but I didn't fancy paying that. I just thought, well, I'd pay a pound. So I had a look at it and I, I opened up the box and the dry shampoo feels really empty. And so I thought, well, I don't want to pay a pound for that. But then the shampoo looked really nice, more shampoo. Um, Dawn till dusk shampoo, girls only hair care. Um, so I gave her a pound and she said she'd never used them. That was brand new. So I don't know if that's just like evaporated. I don't think there's any left in there. So I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did. It was a pound. So that is, uh, yeah, I think that's from like B&M or maybe Home Bargains or something originally. Um, so probably not the best deal, but I've got it anyway. And then I bought this for Toby, for Toby and Lee. I don't know if it's going to work, but I thought I'd take a chance. It was a pound. It's a football remote control. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. It says it's compatible with most major TV brands, but that could have been before they all changed. If it isn't compatible, it doesn't really matter because Toby will probably just use this um, as a football. I'm sure we could stuff the thing inside and he can get some kind of use out of it. Um, but hopefully it will. Two AAA batteries not included. So fingers crossed that'll work or it might not. Right, my final thing I'm gonna show you are a pair of flip flops and they are from Primark originally and they were a pound as well and these are just handy like on holiday I like um you know in the evenings I don't always want to wear heels on holiday I see I hardly ever want to wear heels I don't mind wedges but then I do like flats as well but I think it's quite nice when you have a little bit of sparkle um you know on your flip flop so they were a pound for those size five but they fit me quite nicely um and that is it that is everything from my car boot sale haul i've shown you everything other night yep yep that's it the tempe mugs and the cup of kids and one that is everything so i hope you enjoyed this haul if you did um make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed then please do and let me know what your favorite item was as well out of this haul if i had to choose one i think i'm going to say my Kath Kidston 50p mug and I like this a lot and this is brilliant because I actually really needed it so they're probably my favourites. I like everything and I love my llama mug. I love my llama mug. Um, so let me know your favourite item in the comments below and I will speak to you on Monday. I've got the weekend vlog for six o'clock and then on Friday I've got a charity shop haul and I found some amazing dresses for really cheap. I think most of them are like one pound £1.49 or £1.79. I found a Ted Baker dress. I found all sorts. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. I don't know. Oh, one dress and I googled it and it was £95 um, and it looks brand new to me. So that is for Friday, my charity shop haul. Thank you very much for watching. Have a brilliant weekend and I'll speak to you on Monday with the weekend vlog. Bye.